just count your days, Sony, because this is the last straw, not the last dance, like what the Venom movie was called. This is the last straw. Afro-Ras, the last straw, because if you guys produce another flop, I'm going to crash out. If Craven is not good, Sony, I'm going to your company. I'm boycotting it. I'm burning it down. I'm doing everything, bro, because what was this piece of shit? All right, so if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, I just went to go see Venom 3, The Last Dance, last night. And boy, oh boy, was I disappointed. Boy, oh boy, was I angry. And man, I just don't know, like, I, I don't know, man. Let's just get into this review. What I liked about the movie, what I didn't like. And yeah, don't go see Venom 3. Save yourself. If you haven't seen a single Venom movie, consider yourself lucky. The first one's all right. Second one's trash. And the third one's even more trash. It's it's a little better than the second one. I'll give it that. But it's still on par with trash as the second one. So, yeah, let's just get into it, man. So, what did I like about the movie? All right. So, let's go on to the cons, man. So, this movie does not know what it wanted to be. It doesn't have any plot. It doesn't like do anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's it feels like a setup movie, basically, like a whole setup movie to try to set something else up for Sony's universe, which is like, why just let your universe die, Sony? Like if the DCEU can die, die out like that, you know, like how you can have like six DC movies, which in my opinion, the DCEU movies were better than any of the Venom movies like Wonder Woman, uh, Man of Steel um batman versus superman like these dcu movies are better than the venom movies it's just that plain and simple but i'm trying to think like i i don't know what they're setting up or why they're setting anything up but like it, it, like, just stop it stop it right dead in its tracks because also if craven does not do good you guys are cooked like just just stop it bro just stop it i went on this day i went to the theater day one to see this release the day it dropped the night it dropped i only had a two other people in my theater i only had a whole nother couple in my theater that was it like nobody cares about sony's universes anymore you had all three venom movies you had morbius and you had fucking madam web and none of them were good so just stop just stop okay it, it's it's you, it's awful at this point you know you're just beating a dead horse and so let me just get on so this movie has no plot it doesn't know what what it's doing it just feels like a setup movie it starts off by undoing what the last movie did which he got transported to another universe and then he got out of that universe again even though he was only in it for like two minutes and then he's like making a drink at the bar and then they're like oh they see this thing on the tv where they're like eddie brock killed the cop from the last movie or something now he's on the run and so now he has to go and fuck it he's like on the run the whole fucking movie the whole movie and i don't know what it wanted to do honestly i have no idea what what it wanted to do because then they like bring in these two random side characters try to give them a little bit of story and it just doesn't work at all at all it does not fucking work and it's just like like they introduce this black girl and you're supposed to care about her family and you only get one scene of her and then you get this blonde girl and she's all like my brother wanted to do this like dude nobody cares about these side characters you gave them one 30 second scene and that's it and like all they are, are the scientist side characters in the movie the dude general strickland me and my girl were saying is not a good actor dude no offense to that guy maybe it was just the role he was in he was not good at acting but uh yeah that was really bad just just i don't know just the movie did not know what it wanted to do and it was just really freaking bad like i i there is the ending the ending of the movie where spoiler alert but don't go see this movie um venom sacrifices himself to save eddie and so, because, like, they have this whole thing where if you die, it's so stupid. If you die and the symbiote, like, merges with you to heal you, there's a codex that's a codex that's born within you. And Noel, which I freaking called it when I saw the trailer that Noel was only going to be in three minutes of this movie. Noel was only in three minutes of this movie. 
I don't know, like, I know some people said, like, oh, yeah, no, like, they didn't even advertise Noel in the trailer like that, but if you're gonna show Noel in the trailer, like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I was just getting my hopes up too much. Yeah, Noel's only in three minutes of the movie, and he needs this codex that Venom has because he died and merged with Venom in the first Venom movie. He he needs that codex, and so he's sending these aliens out to get him, you know, but... The aliens could only see the codex if Venom's in his full Venom form, you know, like he's fully Venom. When they're in Eddie Brock and he can still help Eddie as like kind of like a Spider-Man type where with all these like webs coming out and stuff or all these tendrils coming out. That that's like they can't see them. These big aliens can't see Eddie or can't see Venom unless he fully transforms into Venom. And they freaking clarify that pretty early in the movie. All right. And there's this one scene, I, I keep getting off track, where Venom sacrifices himself. And he's literally, like, getting burnt by acid, and he's about to explode. And this man, Tom Hardy, gives one of the worst acting performances ever. I swear to God, with this amount of motion, this is what he does. No. It was so bad. Me and my girl were dying laughing in theater. It was so bad. But yeah, anyway, let me, let's get to some plot holes and some stupid things that happened in this movie, which was basically the whole movie. So, these things, these things that Noel sent out to hunt Venom can only see Venom when he's fully Venom, you know what I'm saying? God, I wish I had a nickel for every time I say Venom. But, uh, so, he knows not the Transformers Venom. Tell me why they go on this stupid random side quest, and they find Mrs. Chang in Las Vegas, and I'm with my boy Silly, shout out to my boy Silly, bro. Keep Mrs. Chang behind a cash register, dog, because no, this was this wasn't even funny. Venom goes to Mrs. Chang knowing that he can't freaking like transform or else he'll get tracked down. And Mrs. Chang's like, let's dance. And Venom's like, yeah, let's dance. And like, dude, Venom, you're the one who's fucking you're the one who started all It's just so fucking stupid, dude. And so he transforms as Venom, even though he knows it's gonna risk him getting taken by the fucking thing that Noel sent after him. All so he could dance with Mrs. Chang. The whole reason, not no big sacrifice. He has to freaking turn into Venom so he could save Eddie. No, he turns into Venom so he could dance with Mrs. Chang. And that's how he gets caught, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. Then they introduce this one hippie little family that wants to go see a freaking alien in the movie for way too long. They serve no purpose whatsoever, dude. Like, they weren't even funny. They weren't even funny. And this movie wasn't even funny, which is so sad. I know I didn't even say the things that I liked about it, but here are a couple of things that I did like about it. One, the things that they do with the Venom symbiote are pretty cool. Like, with some of the action scenes, the things that happen with the Venom symbiote are pretty cool. Like, there's this one scene in the water where he transfers the uh, symbiote to a fish and then to a frog, and it's actually pretty cool. There's the, you guys saw in the trailer where he transfers it to a horse. It's pretty cool. And then the ending battle is pretty cool because they show a bunch of cool symbiotes from the comics. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, this movie's trash. Don't go see it. That's going to be the end of this video because I don't want to talk about this and I need to purge this from my memory. Because all this is up there with a bunch of stinkers, bro. This was a big fucking stinker. This, it's not worse than Joker 2. And I haven't seen Borderlands, but I'm pretty sure it's not worse than Borderlands. So I'm pretty sure like out of the top three worst movies that come out this year, I'm pretty sure it would be like number three, probably. It would probably go... Borderlands, Joker 2, R, and uh, Venom. That's it. Don't go see Venom. It was bad. I don't know how people out here are giving it good reviews. Like, maybe I'm just being negative, but, like, I honestly don't know how people are coming out here and giving this good reviews. I've, like, only seen a couple mid-reviews, but I, I don't know how. I don't I didn't like it. Hopefully, maybe you guys will like it. Actually, go see it, like, so I can get everyone's opinion on this. Maybe you guys will like it. Maybe I'm just in the minority, and I'm just, like, an asshole, or I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm in the wrong, but I did not like this movie. My girl didn't like this movie. The uh, two other people in the theater, they freaking left. They left. I mean, like, yeah, no, I just don't go see this movie. Like, comment, subscribe for my pain. And that's going to be it, man. Thank you, everyone, for making it to the end of the video. And yeah, I'm about to go stream some Call of Duty, man. So please come out. If you made it to the end of the video, come out to the stream. Yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.